Welcome to Studio 90 in Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts, where a record-setting crowd will be here on hand tomorrow to watch the U.S. take on FIFA World Cup champion Spain at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Both the U.S. and Spain conduct their final training sessions here, each getting one chance to be on the natural grass that was laid down on Wednesday. And the U.S. team knows that facing the number one team in the world, the World Cup champion and defending European champion is a huge challenge for the United States. Plain and simple, it's great for fans in the United States because uh, uh, not only has, I said it earlier, has Spain been successful world champions, but um, you know, their, their style, their way of playing, um, the talented individuals, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, a team that, that soccer people get excited to watch. Well, I think the, the most important thing is we stay injury free. You know, uh, we got we got the Gold Cup ahead of us. We got a lot of a lot of tough games. So, um, yeah, obviously, we like a good performance. It's going to be a great crowd. Um, you know, it's in a great venue. We like to play here. So, um, we we've played some of the top teams in the world. We have played Spain before. So, I mean, it'll be a tough game. But again, put in a good performance, stay injury free, see what happens. I think it's going to be a, a good game. Obviously, we're playing at home, so it's uh, the first time for our home fans to see us play against Spain since that Confederations Cup that was so memorable. So uh, I think we're just trying to get a good tune-up ready for Gold Cup. Obviously, we know the game isn't important in, in terms of a win or a loss, something like that. But I think to play well, to, to show the fans a little something, and to show a little something for ourselves as we get ready for the tournament. It's still exciting when you play against a, a great team. Uh, when you, my team has some of the best players in the world on it, you, look, you still look forward to that. Um, in the sense of the importance of the game, I think the more experience you get, you start to realize that, you know, the main challenge for us is the Gold Cup and how we do it, and, that, and that's where our mind has is, is consistently been. You know, we want to work on things and, and make sure that we can take positives from the Spain game, but like it's titled, it is just a friendly, but, you know, you still get excited about these type of games. Again, I think good performances uh, start to pay off, and the more good performances you can put uh, together, the, you know, the more 90 minutes you can, you can string together uh, where you feel really good in, in a positive way, then... Uh, th that, that leads to good results and, we, and ultimately in a tournament setting you need good results. I'm excited because uh, I took part in one of the pre-World Cup games uh, last year, the one against the Czech Republic, and it seemed like there was a lot of American support to, to show the team you know, as like a send-off. So I think, I think tomorrow against Spain will be like that, whereas uh, you know, they'll, they'll be showing a lot of support and giving us a lot of support as we go off on our Gold Cup voyage, so it's pretty exciting. I think they'll be excited. I think they'll see a great game. They'll be on their feet. There'll be some really good passing. You know, I think we'll have our moments where we're, we'll be able to get out on the attack and, and hit them on the break, and I think they'll, I think they'll enjoy the, themselves. The U.S. will once again be wearing the red jerseys with the word indivisible sewn on the sleeve, the team motto selected by the fans. You can watch the U.S. take on Spain live on ESPN and Univision beginning at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can also follow the match live on ussoccer.com's Match Tracker. For the latest updates from Foxborough, follow the U.S. on Facebook, Twitter at U.S. Soccer, and the MNT blog at ussoccer.com. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.